Hi everyone, it's Lynn Como, and I'm ready to unveil my July Kit of the Month, which will also be an online crop in August, August 20th, so save the date. This is Backyard Bliss, and I created 10 beautiful pages with this kit. This is the first layout, Love Grows, and it can easily be just this two-page spread, but I also use the 8x12 flip flaps, so that's optional for you if you'd like to add that. Love the way this came out, and I am using the Picture My Life cards. They are so pretty. Here's a close-up of the punch-out flower, but what I did is I used my yellow beads and adhesive sheet to create the center. So that's optional for you if you happen to have these beads, or you can order them if you love the look. Here I'm showing you that I used the black journaling marker to add some detail of stitching lines to this particular part of the artwork. The strawberries are actually out of the Backyard Bliss scrapbooking stamp set with thin cuts, and it's one of my favorite stamp sets. Um, as far as coloring it in, the watercolor pencils dry really gave it a nice touch, and I also used the shortbread shimmer brush to do the flowers. Now this is underneath the flip flap, the 8x12 flip flap, where I used the punch out circles. And I was able to incorporate that underneath. If that is something you want to add, you're more than welcome to do this look. That is the top part of the flip flap. So it just flips right up and it gives you an opportunity to add even more photos and details. This is my garden layout. I use the stamp set again. The garden is thin cut. The seed packet is stamped with all the fruits and vegetables. And I just love the colors here shortbread, papaya, and the new pine, and the toffee below. I am adding the Mixins paper pack, and these are four by four for photo wells. So if you're not using it for the garden, change out the title and add four by four or smaller photos to these photo wells. They're really, it's really a pretty layout. Also can be used for Grand Canyon, Red Rocks, Arizona, things like that. So think beyond the title if gardening is not your thing. But here you can see it's stamped in mocha ink. I used shortbread shimmer brush to color in the flowers and I added the extra thin cut behind it to make the title pop. Here is where you can see how I use the watercolor pencils to color in the tomatoes here. And it's just a dry look and I really love the way it came out. There's my favorite stamp, strawberries. You always have the option to add flip flaps and this is a six by four picture my life card. And it is just something where you can add more details like journaling or more photos within a flip flap. This is the sweet life layout and I really love the look. The colors are the papaya, pine and mink. That background that you see in the gray is actually like a chicken wire fence, gray and white, and this layout in person just pops with color. I did stamp the grid work using Perfectly Imperfect stamp set, which many of you own. There is papaya and um, green apple, that's right, shimmer brush splattered in the background, and the strawberries once again are colored in with watercolor pencils. The Sweet Life is a 6x4 Picture My Life card, which also offers you the opportunity to use it in a 6x4 flip flap. Going in a completely different direction, you're going to see how the sapphire color is popped on these pages. Note the wood uh, paper that you see in the bottom of the layout. That is part of the workshop kit, one of my favorite patterns. And then you can see this fencing that is the die cut that comes within the workshop kit. There are flowers, there are leaves, and other items as well. Here's a close-up of the fencing, the birdhouse, and the flowers, and the bird. Now, these are stickers that are on the sticker sheet. This is a particular layout that has no title, so you have the opportunity to use it as you wish. Family, friends, gardening, bird watching, the sky's the limit. With all my heart is another beautiful layout. 
there's that wood pattern again and the heart that you see in the background is a big punch out we've punched out all the other hearts putting them together and it really makes an adorable layout here you can see those wood die cuts that i colored in with shimmer brushes and that title is part of that wood die cut now you can change that title and make this definitely any kind of outdoor adventure layout the colors just lend themselves to gardening hiking camping whatever it is now backyard bliss has a beautiful card making stamp set and workshop kit now these are the cards you make four of each card and i am loving the kit itself just look at that stamp set with the wheelbarrow and the wooden cask barrel uh, that you can use and the flowers are also a thin cut which kind of have a slit inside the barrel in the wheelbarrow so that you can just pop them in but i can see using these through the fall with apples and pumpkins and things like that so this is definitely on my list of things to have in my stash there's a close-up so you can see that particular kit that comes inside the workshop now this is the backyard bliss scrapbooking workshop kit so you can see it comes with the punch outs the pattern paper the sticker sheet some of the card stock and the wooden die cuts with the love grows here so pretty and very versatile here are the papers that are within the kit and these are colors that you can definitely use for outdoor summer adventure so and you'll be able to put them together for those kinds of layouts if you like and this is the sticker sheet that comes in the kit so you definitely have your garden motif going and some outdoor fun these are the wooden die cuts and there you see that fence it's a really nice strip and i love the quality of these paper die cuts they're not too thick they're really the right depth so that they don't bend easily but they don't cause a lot of bulk either this is the coordinating cardstock we'll be using and the colors that are in backyard bliss we have white daisy shortbread papaya sage the new pine and sapphire here is the stamp set that i used which is optional for you and anything that you see that's slightly tinted in color means that it has a coordinating thin cut if you like the ones with the thin cuts Our Serenity online crop will be held August 20th, and we are creating 10 pages, but there is more. I did create a bonus layout that I'll be sharing with those of you who sign up for the crop. You won't want to miss out. Now, as far as Backyard Bliss, there's another stamp set and thin cut, and this is the card making one that's sold separately. That tree is a three by four size and a thin cut and you can cut the swing off if you'd like to use it maybe with falling apples in the fall season coloring in the leaves in fall colors so think beyond that i love the hills or the valleys or it could be a garden patch whatever you want this really appealed to me i like what you can do with this i think of wine country i think of europe and the, and maybe the olive area along the Amalfi coastline, things like that. I mean, there's so many um, great ways that you could use this set. If you're into the digital art SVG file, this is $9.95, and these are the pieces that come within that purchase that you can create using any of your cutting systems. This Autumn Vibes stamp set is super cute I know I'll be using it for the fall, but I am using it on the bonus layout, but it's optional for you. I love the apples, the pumpkins, and I picked a good one. It's such a cute title. Now, this is still available right now. So for those of you who are into fruits of the summer, you have Sweet Pickings Stamp Set and Thin Cuts with the strawberries and the watermelon. And for those of you who've been around with me for a while, you still might have the Sweet Fruit Set. And this is still available with lemon, lime, apples, cherries, whatever you want to think of and color it in with. But these also work so well with the Backyard Bliss. Well, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm looking forward to sharing Backyard Bliss with you. And I hope you sign up for August 20th, our Serenity Crops Online.